we're going to begin with a higher cost of getting around and no way to get around it. You're going to pay more whether you ride the rails or drive. On buses, subways, railroads, bridges, and tunnels. Base fare for buses and subways, $2.90. And tolls will cost you more as well, all starting August 30th. And congestion pricing, that too is about to take effect. Inflation may be dropping nationwide, but don't tell that to the MTA. Eyewitness News reporter NJ Burkett live in Lower Manhattan. NJ? And right, Sandra, unless you walk or ride a bike, sooner or later, one way or another, you're going to be paying more. Fares and tolls are going up, and in Manhattan, eventually congestion pricing within a year. With all of that, a 290 transit fare is the least of it. I think it's a fair price. 290 is that bad. Many riders say it's a small price to pay. That is, if service is better and more reliable on the subways and the buses. The fact is, the New York City Transit Fair has not changed in seven years. And by next month, it will go up. All those in favor? Aye. The MTA board voted this afternoon to raise the transit fare, as well as fares on the suburban commuter rail lines. Ticket prices on the LIRR and Metro North will go up by roughly 4%. The transit fare will go from 275 to 290. The seven day unlimited Metro card will go to $34. The 30 day will go to $132. The express bus fare will increase to $7. And the seven day fare will go up to $64. What the MTA insists are modest fare increases to balance the agency's budget while offering better service. More buses and trains that are more reliable and will run more often. MTA Chairman Jan Lieber. Because we took action, we stabilized the agency financially and we're even increasing service. The MTA is also raising tolls on its nine bridges and tunnels. On average, 6% for Easy Pass and 10% for drivers without Easy Pass. What's more controversial is the agency's congestion pricing plan, slapping tolls on vehicles entering Manhattan south of 60th Street. Livery drivers and delivery workers protested outside MTA headquarters, where a committee to formulate the plan was holding its first public hearing. Who pays and how much? The details still not clear. Many transit advocates are defending the fare increases as prudent, necessary for a better, more reliable transit system. We're all part of the solution, so we all have to contribute to it. But others aren't so sure. Ridership has been low, and so they need to make their money back based on the pandemic, but I don't think that now is a good time. The fare increases set to go into effect on August 20th. Tolls could go up within three weeks. Live tonight, MTA headquarters in Lower Manhattan.